Hello, everybody. Welcome to Creating Your Dream Life and Business as a Reality. Can I get a big wahoo? Yeah. (laughs) Are you guys as excited to be doing this class as I am? Yeah. Oh, I've been so absolutely thrilled. Okay, so um, I would love to hear anything from you guys about sort of what what feels like is stopping you from actually creating those dream lives that I that I read about. Does anybody have anything to share that they feel like some different stuff is coming up for them? If, if, if I perceive that when I really get going with stuff, it feels like the rug gets pulled out from under my feet, and it's a lifelong experience, and what would it take for that to change? Okay, cool. So how many of you guys feel like whenever you start creating that phenomenal dream life that the rug is going to be pulled out from under your feet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That was that was something that I um, actually suffered from quite a bit before access to. Okay, so waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay, so this is something that we actually have learned from our parents about how to be discouraged and how to get prepared for failure. Okay, it feels like childhood and raising kids is more about preparing them for what's not going to work rather than inspiring them to know they can have anything. Does that feel true to you guys? Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's look at this. So what creation of the preparation for – wow. Okay, what what creation of the preparation for the discouragement in and as life do you have? Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using to maintain and entrain being a good girl or boy who learned everything from your parents that they needed to? It's really weird, but it's almost like it's we're put in this position where we, our parents do this to us as love and as if we need it, as if it's required here. So everything that brings up for you, all the required programs that your parents installed that you think you need in order to live or survive, will you destroy and create all those times a godzillion? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, wait, let me introduce this new process and access, because that's going to be sort of where we're going going to be doing a lot of the most work. Um, And it's this idea of these positional, these positions that we take, basically these points of view, like the the other shoe is always going to drop. The rug is always going to get pulled out from under me. So if there's ever anything good happening, you're always looking for what's going to happen bad next. Okay? So that's a point of view that you took in order to maybe survive or something along those lines, in order to be prepared for the failure that you think is going to happen. Okay, so when you do that, you create these points of view that become these positional, what we call heat pads, which the heat pads stand for, uh, let's see, uh, well, I don't need to do it in the order. So entropy, atrophy, paralysis, destruction, and handicapping. So those points of view will handicap you, right? So you create yourself as not an infinite being. You're handicapping you. Um, Entropy is where if you don't use your muscles, they actually shrink. So it's sort of like your muscle to actually have your life. You begin not being that conscious around it. So um, paralysis, because you'll be sort of paralyzing your life in order to hold that point of view in existence. Uh, atrophy and destruction. So atrophy is where the muscles basically disintegrate. or So it's like disintegrating you as a being in order to hold that in place. Because the thing is, your point of view creates your reality. So if you have the point of view, if anything good is happening, then the other shoe is going to drop. You'll actually create the other shoe dropping in order to make you right for that point of view. Okay, so everything that brings up, times a godzillion, will you destroy and create all that? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, talk, shorts, boys, beyond. I should also probably tell you, too, the people who have done it, haven't done any access, um, you're going to want to log into the radio show. It's um, rikazimmerman.com forward slash radio show dot php. Actually, radio show dot com. Okay, I will, we will send the link. How about that? You're going to want to download those first four MP3s because they're going to give you all the basic information. Because um, we won't be doing too much ba basic information in this class. Um, so you're going to want to download those four hours and listen to them, and then the class will start making a little bit more sense to you. Okay. Has everybody listened to – does everybody know the basis, the basics, or does anybody feel like they're, they're lost right off the bat? Uh, well, I'm not sure what you mean by basics. You mean the access basics? Yeah. Like uh, the truth will make you feel lighter, lie will make you feel heavier, living in the question, who does this belong to, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've got some of that, yeah. Okay, good. I okay, did, cool. I did some of the knee pads so. again. He pads? Yes. yes. Handicapping, entropy, paralysis, atrophy, and destruction. Awesome. Hey, Rika? Yes. This is Mary. Uh huh. Um, it, it what I have an awareness of is like all this like programming from whenever, and and then creating all this unconsciousness and all those he pads. So that like if I step back from my life, it's just like I kind of like wow, that's you know I look at what I'm doing or whatever. It's like that doesn't feel at all like who I truly am. But yeah. there's so much unconsciousness around you know so it's like i don't even know what's stopping me okay so everything that brings up times a godzillion because the thing is there's only one person that's powerful enough to stop you and it's actually you so yeah. you're the only one that can create all of these things in order to not allow your life to actually show up like it really yeah does. yeah so everything that brings up times a godzillion and all the locks and keys that you've hidden from you that if you actually unlocked would allow you to have that you you know you really are, will you allow that to happen and destroy and create everything that doesn't allow that to exist? Yes. All of you guys? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what creation of the preparation for the other shoe dropping as reality are you using to bring into existence the positional he pads you were choosing? There you go. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yep. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyond. Can anybody feel that energetic shift? Woo, baby. Hey, uh, I'm not sure what you mean by the other shoe dropping. What does that mean? The other shoe dropping is when the rug, you have this idea that the rug's going to get pulled out from under you. Or if something good happens, it's only going to last for so long. Okay. Hmm. It's almost like the preparation for the impending destruction that is I see. coming. So what creation, and it's sort of like I'm just using whatever words to address that particular energy. So what creation of no matter what the other shoe is going to drop, everything good only lasts for so long, uh, the rug always gets pulled out from un under me, I should be ready for the disappointment as reality are you using to bring into existence the positional heat pads you are choosing? Woo! Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh, boy. That makes me see, see funny. <laughs> okay, so what are else? You saying, are you saying heat, heat pads? Yeah, key pads, handicapping. Key, key pads, okay, I, I'm hearing key, pads. key, key, key like key yeah. or E. Yeah. Okay. Handicapping, atrophy. Paralysis, paralysis, entropy, and destruction. Okay, because... Ah, so the thing about projecting that point of view of the other shoe is going to drop, 
you'll make everyone function from that around you. So say you have a team of people and something great happens. If your point of view is the other shoe is going to drop and this is only going to last for so long, you'll literally make everybody else do the same thing. <laughs> you'll project it into their universe and get them to function from it. Okay, so, um, so what else do you guys feel like comes up when you go to create your life or choose your life? Um, uh, can I go? This is Tony from Portland. Sure. Go, go, go for it, Mr. Tony. Yay. Okay. okay um, so uh, uh, today I had a call with, uh, with a graphic designer dude in Pennsylvania, and he wants to – sounds like he wants to hire me, which is basically what cool. I've been looking for, what I've been asking the universe for. But I get this uh, interesting energy come up from it, and I couldn't identify exactly what it was. Uh, and I can't put my finger down if it's coming from me or if it's coming from him. Okay, so what like, is it? Uh, Ruth, what is it? Is it coming from you or him? Coming that. from me. Okay, so what is that? That. Uh, well, the word I got was that. paralysis. Yeah. Entropy. <laughs> All that stuff. Okay, so do you have the point of view that you're not good enough? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so what's really cool about this, Tony, is literally he's showing us like exactly what we do in our lives to destroy ourselves. Okay, so this whole idea of not being good enough, if you actually have the point of view that you're not good enough at anything, are you ever going to allow it to show up? No. Yet how many of your parents actually instilled in you you're not good enough so that from their point of view they were getting you to – choose more and more and more and be better at whatever. Okay, so everywhere, everything that, that was installed there, everything you resisted or reacted to or aligned and agreed with, that allows any and all that to exist, will you destroy and create all that? Times a God, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so truth, are you guys not good enough? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So what creation of never being good enough as reality are you locking into existence with and as positional heat pads? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, this is a really good one to get out of the way in the first call, which is really cool. It's kind of like I was looking at this first call is let's get rid of the sludgy, dudgy thing that everyone <laughs> creates, and then we can start moving into lots of other things in particular, like in, in that have to do with each of your lives sort of thing. So what creation of never being good enough as a reality, are you locking into existence with and as the positional heat pads? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you just try and create it all? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so the thing about these calls, some people, you can have the tendency to just sit there and listen and space out or whatever. That's okay, too. Yet, if you actually really go, you know what? This whole not good enough thing has got to change. Okay, so right now, look into your own universe. Okay, look at all the points of view that you've created about not being good enough. Not being good enough for a relationship, not being good enough to have money, not being good enough to have a successful business. And it sort of files under even not being smart enough, not being pretty enough, not being basically enough. Not having okay, been so able to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Well, you haven't been able to limit yourself. That's okay. Okay, figuring it out doesn't actually even work. So you're not doing bad there, not being able to figure it out. <laughs> oh, that's good. Figure, figuring it out is a lost art. It's like basically this thing that nobody can ever accomplish that everybody keeps trying to do. Okay, so figuring it out is one of those things we're like, all right, time to give it up. <laughs> okay, so... All of those points of view that you guys have about not being enough, 
in order to have? Will you now pull them all up in all of your universes? There you go. And will you destroy and uncreate them entirely and utterly, no matter what? Yes. Yes. Even if you invalidate your parents' points of view about you? Yes. 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 Even if you invalidate your point of view about you and your life? <laughs> yes. 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 Revoke, or can't return, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pod, shorts, boys, and beyond. I have a question. Can I, can, okay. Can I jump in? Because for me, this is Luma, and um, I actually am really good at attracting really amazing opportunities. Um, okay. I attract, I attract, you know, very influential people who want to support me and help me and are excited about it, and then nothing happens. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, first off, with every possibility, you never want to go into any conclusion. Okay? Because mm-hmm. what happens when you go to a conclusion, you're creating an expectation and a projection that the other person then has to function inside of. So, if you decide this person's going to get me from A to B, they're going to start resisting getting you from A to B. Wow. Okay. So everything that brings up and all the conclusions you have out there that are creating the opposite results, we just try and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, the bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Wow. Okay. So mm-hmm. what creation of your life as a conclusion, as a reality, are you using to bring into existence the positional heap heads you are choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And to go on top of it, you're trying to make the right conclusion. Ah! <laughs> but of course, right? <laughs> <laughs> the judgment on top of the conclusion. Yay! Crap. Okay, so what creation of your life as the right conclusion, as as a reality, are you using to bring into existence the positional heat pads you are choosing? Oh, boy. <laughs> Everything that brings up times a godzillion when you strand and create it all? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so this is actually bigger than you think it is. Like, you might think, oh, we're just processing conclusion, no big deal. But let's really, like, Let's look at this paradigm. Have you guys ever gone on a first date with someone and went, wow, that was such a beautiful first date? And then by the time the second date rolls around, they've completely concluded how your future is going to be, and it's totally like you want to run, or want to run screaming from the room. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? Yes. Okay, and what happens is the energy starts feeling weird. Like... You start feeling like, okay, this is really strange. Like, there's, wow, what happened while we, between the first and second date? Like, where'd you go? Okay, that's what happens when they're making conclusions about what you're going to be to them. You start feeling like, you haven't even asked me if I want children, and you've already named them. Okay. So what would it take for you guys to know that every conclusion you create actually creates the opposite result? Ow, everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and create it all. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Because even like if you're invested in, you know, getting a business deal or invested in having a relationship or it's basically like you're like, oh, it'll mean this and it'll mean this and it'll mean this. Has anyone ever done that to you and you just, you go to hand them whatever it is they were asking for and it's like, I don't want to. It feels bleh. I don't even really, ah. So like, Greg, if you were going to have a bunch of points of view about auditioning for this movie and what it was going to be, when if you have any conclusions about what that's going to be for your life and what that means to you, it's like it won't – because the thing is the gift that they're going to give you of having it is always going to look different than what you've concluded it to be. So you're trying to fit it into a maze that it has nothing to do with. Okay, let me give you a, a little bit of a better example maybe. Um, 
Have you guys ever given somebody a gift when they expected it and it felt like crap? Yeah. yeah. They're like, mm-hmm. and they're sort of like judging. They're like, okay, God, thanks for the gift. Yeah, you had to, and I was expecting it. And <laughs> and then if you have you ever given somebody a gift and they didn't even expect it? Yeah. And it was totally received completely differently. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Okay, so that's what you want to be with everyone you interact with in your life. You want to have no expectation of them. So when they give to you, it's this Mm. infinite receiving and contribution to your life and their life. Mm. It's a gift Mm. to give to someone who has no expectations. So everywhere you've been creating expectations of your life in the universe... And everywhere you're like, Rika, I don't even know how to create without expectations and conclusions, so just shut up. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) I'm really not saying sometimes a God's saying we just try not create it all. Uh, Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh, boy. Mm. So, Rika, I have a question. I I don't know how – I really – I don't – this is the – and I don't know how to have a life without there being some expectation because – on some level, don't you, like, you know, with me writing this book, I mean, the expectation is that, well, people will buy it, right? I mean, that's why I'm writing this book, right? So if I have the expectation, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and I, and, and the thing is, I totally get where you're coming from, okay? Because the thing is, uh-huh. we've all been raised, we've all been raised in this reality. Correct. We've been raised to get invested in everything, okay? To have expectations, right. to have conclusions, okay? Except... Okay, a question, ask and you shall receive. A question creates more receiving. Any conclusion eliminates receiving. Okay. Okay, so depending on all the expectations you have of the book, you're actually eliminating receiving, and you're actually cutting off your awareness also. And then after that, it creates this thing where you're always judging your book, whether it's right or wrong, and going to fit into your conclusion and expectation. Mm-hmm. Haven't you noticed that you've been in judgment of it, too? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm a writer. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so everywhere writing and judgment go hand in hand, which means every time you create, you destroy with the other hand. Will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. Yes, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So if you talk to, like I've been to a lot of songwriting conferences and all kinds of stuff, the people that wrote songs that did like Man in the Mirror or something, that actually wrote that song, sat down and wrote that song, like wow, what an incredible gift to the world, right? They hardly yeah. remember writing it. Mm-hmm. It's almost like they were open, asking questions, being in that quote-unquote flow, there was no judgment in their universe. They couldn't, if they would have judged it, it would have stopped. Okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and create it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So if you create an expectation of the song or the book, it eliminates the ways that people can contribute to you. Okay, this might sound really weird, but it, you basically, your point of view creates your reality. And with everything you create, you create a future of that product based on your point of view of the product. Okay? So all the points of view that you have create a trajectory. Okay? So, and it cuts off your awareness to anything else that could be possible that may be greater than that. Mm-hmm. So if you have the point of view that your, your book is going into Barnes & Noble, some internet marketer, you might meet him at a party, and he's like, oh, wow, I really like you. I, want, I really want to contribute to you. And you're like, thanks, but my book's going on Amazon, or my book's going on Barnes & Noble. And he's like, uh, I have a list of, you know, three million people, but I was going to tell you about it, but apparently you know where you're going. You've already concluded and projected and expe- expected, have expectation of where this is going, so there's no space for me to offer my contribution. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you just drain and create all that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, and I get that 
in the beginning of this class, I might feel like, ah, far reach. Give me more information. I'm like, okay, I'm giving it to you as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I just get that I don't know how to not have expectations yet, but I'm also. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so who, okay, so do do expectations actually work for you? No. 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 There's usually a disappointment. Oh, come on. Come on, tell, you, tell me how they work really well. <laughs> They're wonderful. Well, they, I love them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it's like when you really start looking at uh, uh, something that you're running, like, ooh, well, how can you not have expectations? I'm like, how can you have expectations? Mm-hmm. See, it's like, so if you really start looking at the program of expectation, you're like, oh, wow, it doesn't really create anything generative. It keeps me in a constant state of judgment to find out whether this thing is what I've expected or not and whether it's made mm-hmm. it to where I've expected and whether how people are going to judge it and if it's, do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just creates a big, bigger pile of crap underneath it. And then a pile of crap underneath all those piles of crap. And then even more than that. (laughs) Times a godzillion. Okay, so everything that brings up, will you destroy it and create all that? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, so all of those projections, rejections, expectations, conclusions, and judgments and rejections that you've created around your product, your service, your dream, or your business as your life, okay, all those dreams you have for your life, okay, all of that, yeah. Will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion so you can actually just choose it instead? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No matter yeah. what, right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Rika, I have a question. Can you hear me? Sure, yeah. Um, this is Emily, and uh, I wanted to ask you about, you know, how do you create a success for yourself then, um, you know, your reality as, you know, wanting to attain more for yourself in your life, you know, how do you look at that not as an expectation but as a, you know, maybe goal setting? Is, is setting a yeah. goal an expectation? Well, the thing is, yeah, well, there's an interesting thing about goals, okay? So goal actually means jail. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Sorry. So what we, what we talk about in Access is targets. So you can set a target, but your target is always moving, okay? There is no end. You've never arrived, okay? Because the thing is, what if you, with every conclusion, what you'll do is you'll get to the conclusion and stop. So have you ever set a goal, met your goal, and then stopped? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and that's the trouble with setting goals. You also set goals based on just barely outside your reality, but you know you can still kick it in. See, what I'm looking for is an ever-expanding reality and universe where you're choosing your life and business, like your dream, amazing, joyful life and business, and you're just choosing it every 10 seconds, and it's showing up. I know it might seem like a lot right now, so I'm trying to give you as much information as we can. I promise after this eight weeks, you'll have a completely different awareness about what I'm talking about. So everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay. Okay, so... Some, okay, so when I talk about not having any conclusions about anything, not being vested in the outcome, does it feel like you kind of have no motivation for your life if you let go of all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. It's really crazy. That's how terribly trained we are by this reality. Like, ooh, let's create a conclusion which is a complete limitation, and that's the only source of motivation that we have. And we always right. feel, like, resentful and a little bit angry and sort of like, oh, my God, we have to do this thing because we decided we had to do it. And Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay. So what if you began living your life from choice? Okay. 
See, the thing is, everything in this reality is about eliminating choice. Every time you go to any judgment or conclusion, you eliminate choice, okay? So what if you began choosing from infinite choice in 10-second increments, and what if that was how you created your phenomenal and dream life and business? Okay, so all the conclusions you've put out there as your foot forward, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all that and put choice there instead? Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, meons. This is way bigger than you think, okay? So I have this friend who wants to sing, wants to be heard by the world, wants to, you know, sort of like get out there, like sing, do her love, right? Except she's got all these projections, judgments, conclusions about singing. So right now she's got all of that stuff before choice. So she keeps talking about how she wants it, She's played out with a band twice. She's never chosen to get a guitar is to learn her stuff to play out, to get it heard. She's never chosen to show up and have her own show so her songs get heard. She's never chosen. Do you see how she's putting all of this judgment, conclusion, projection, rejection, expectation, and living her life in her head instead of choosing her phenomenal life? If she was choosing it, it'd actually be showing up. So everything you think you're choosing that you're actually not yet, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, meons. Like if you have the idea I'm choosing money, but money is actually not in your account, you're actually not choosing it. Okay? You'll be choosing it when it's actually showing up. So when I think I'm choosing something and it's not showing up, I ask, what action do I need to take here or what do I need to institute in order for this to show up? There you go. Okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion ways, trying to create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, beyond. Oh. Hey, can I say something? Absolutely. Because um, obviously I realize I have this, this is Luma again, a lot worse than I thought, um, this expectation thing. And, it, and I, I'd say I think I'm making a choice, but that it must be something I'm just thinking about in my head, and then I kind of play it all out, like how I want it to go. But I thought, you know, I thought that's like how we are taught to do things. You imagine what you want, and, and wait a minute, I'm, I'm losing. I'm, I'm losing myself in this, this right now. I forget why I wanted to ask it in the first place. Oh, I feel like really angry, almost like, Oh, I don't even know what it is. Okay, like so being, I I totally yeah. get where where you're going with this because we're all taught that. We're all taught to imagine and to conclude and to judge. So you'll meet someone and they go, ooh, cool, and you tell them about what you'd like to do and they go, oh, cool, I'll help you. And then you create all this huge mountain of stuff around it. Okay, that is like really not in your best interest because as an infinite being, you'll actually complete it before you actually choose anything. Does that make sense? Like the energy is already completed. Mm -hmm. If you've decided how everything is going to work out and how this is going to happen, you've completed the energy, so now there's no energy to create it. You've also created uh, projections and expectations the other person has to fit in in order to play with you. And you've already decided that you're the king and queen of the universe. You're going to have it this way, and the universe doesn't need to do anything because you don't need any contribution because you've already decided how it's going to happen. Thank you very much. So it eliminates, it creates this place where you eliminate the entire universe from being able to gift to you every time you have any conclusion or judgment about anything. Okay, big thing to swallow, but everything that brings up times a gazillion way you destroy and create it all. Yeah. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay. So what if instead of doing that version, you began asking questions? Okay, universe, what would it take for this to show up? So I wonder what, they, what contribution they could be. See, how many of you guys feel like somebody else is the key to your dream life or business? Like you're waiting yeah. for the person to show up to be the business partner or you're waiting for the audition or you're waiting for the guy at HBO or you're waiting for the – you're waiting for something outside of you. Right. Okay. 
Okay, so everything you're doing to wait for something outside of you, times a godzillion, will you destroy and create all that? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, because what's interesting is everything in my life, whenever I've gone from, oh, this is the person that has this, this is the person that has this, when I actually went to, wow, I'm actually the gift and the valuable product here. Everything shows up to contribute. So when you make other people the valuable product, like if I had an investor, then I could do this. I'm like, okay, let's generate the money. Let's go. And I'm it's like, I'm willing to receive all kinds of contribution. There's been some beautiful, amazing, phenomenal people that have been showing up contributing. Oh, my God, just amazing. Okay, so everything that brings up and everywhere you think that somebody else has your phenomenal life or the key to it, would you just try and create all that and have it regardless? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of anyone or anything, ever, no matter what? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, what if those people who are actually there to deliver your phenomenal life have been waiting for you to be ready? Okay, I'm going to sort of disclose some more stuff because like this I think this will help you guys there's a lot of people around me that would like to either work in the company or you know something like that right and I have to darn it wait for people to be ready it's crazy but it's like I look at someone energetically and what they're choosing and I hire the people that are choosing where we're going there's some people that are like oh I really want to do this thing for you but they're not actually choosing that in their life i have to actually wait for them to choose their life for them to for them me to be able to work with them so it's no there's no mystery on who works in regards to everything that we do everyone actually chooses themselves so everywhere that you're not getting that you're the one that's actually choosing everything yourself and it was never because you weren't chosen it was because you weren't actually choosing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Everything yeah. that that brings up times a godzillion. Will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Hmm. Cool. cool. So what else do you guys feel like is in your way for you two guys choosing your phenomenal life and business? Rika? Yeah. Hi. Um, for me, I feel like um, when I was young, I was really so much more outstanding than everyone else in my family that I kind of dumbed everything down to be like them. And uh, okay. also that because my mom was so invasive, I, I like, you know, just try not to be too successful if you wouldn't jump on it. You said your mom was so invasive that when yeah. you, and then you garbled. So when I would be good at something, she would cheerlead all over it. Okay, so she'd trample on it, or she She kind of made me and it hers. She was kind of saw me as an extension of her. I'm sorry, so she made you an extension of her, meaning she was really proud of you, or she would rain on your parade? She would um, make such a big fuss. It was like the cheerleaders on the side of the football game were making a bigger fuss than the players. Oh, okay, cool. That's my mind, wow. too. Wow. So she was actually there to support you, and she just overdid it from your point of view? Uh, I don't think she was, you know, it was pretty sticky and icky. I, I think it was really, I don't think she never, she never really observed the boundary between me and her. And so it was like, she lived through me, you know, I, it's hard not to get into the, I'm trying to bottom line this for you, but it, it really felt really pretty icky. Um, also, my father was away, so I was like, I became like the dad, and he hadn't even had success, so I was supposed to have success in his place, and there was a kind of, there was 
some kind of weird sexual overtone to the whole thing. It was not very nice. Yeah, that's some yeah, messy yeah. stuff. Okay, first off, everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so the thing about the mom and the cheerleading on the sideline, so any of you guys who received a lot of support from your family, but it was it was support mixed with their judgment of themselves and what they could never have as their life, so they're going to make sure you have it. Mm-hmm. So it, it's almost like they did that they tried to do the best they could with what they were been given, but there was also all this other slimy stuff that was attached to it. Okay, so would you be willing to still receive the contribution and then disregard the slime and get that the slime was just their judgment of themselves? Yeah. Okay, so everything you've done to reject anyone's contribution because it had judgment of themselves attached, will you destroy and create all that? Times a godzillion. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So, Rika, what happens when the applause isn't about him, it's all about her, and it actually has nothing to do with him, and all he's doing is just making her look better? Okay, cool. So did you have a mom like that, Miss Ann? <laughs> My dad was like that. Your dad was like that. Yeah. Wow. It had nothing to do with me and everything to do with him. Yeah. And, and then he would prop me up. Oh, this is my daughter. She speaks French. Oh, this is my daughter. She plays the piano. Oh, blah. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everywhere you resisted how great you were based on your parents thinking that you were great, but including oh. other slimy stuff to do it, would you be willing to destroy and create all that times a gazillion? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. You guys are so funny. Cause, okay, so do you see that no matter what your parents did, you still did something with it? Like, yeah. there are people who never had parents say anything nice to them ever, so they're like, they didn't love me, I won't show up. And then there are some other people who go, oh, they supported me totally, so I won't show up. (laughs) (laughs) So how much choice are you making in your life that's actually not a choice for you, but a choice that's just against others, as if that was a way to have you? Everything that brings up times a godzillion where you trying to create it all. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So what else do you guys have going on that feels like the underlying base of why you're not allowing your life to show up incredibly? I feel like I don't have enough time to do everything that I want and need to do. Okay, so uh, so what creation of time being your scapegoat out of choosing? Are you locking into existence with and as positional heat pads? Oh, boy. Everything that brings up times a godzillion when you start and cradle? Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, me on. So, Mary, what you want to ask is, what can I change about this in order to have space to choose what I'd like to choose? The other thing is, how many of you guys on your sort of to-do list choose all the things you don't want to do first? <laughs> or all the things that just, like, kind of bug you, but you always leave the big one would actually create your life to tomorrow. Okay, do you guys notice that you do that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to do something. This is going to be one of the things for this class. Instead of doing all the other stuff first, whatever you do your to-do list or whatever, pick the things that are going to expand your life the most first. Do like one to three of those things first and then do everything else, whatever else you want to do. Okay, if I have 30 phone calls to make and one of them is a radio show for, you know, millions of people, I'm going to call the radio show guy first. Well, I immediately go to um, the the... I don't know if it's the expectation or just like the should do, the things you 
Wow, that's interesting what's showing up around that. Yeah. Okay, so how many of you guys have created your life as everything you have to do in order to survive? Yep. Oh, boy, everything that brings up, times a godzillion, will you strain and create it all? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so right now make this commitment to yourself. I am going to choose the things that will expand my life first, the things that will generate the most money and the most phenomenal life and business first, not second, first. Once I actually do one to three of those things a day, then I can choose whatever else. Then you can step back into the should do, have to do list. <laughs> and you can should all over yourself. <laughs> can you repeat the what? What's that? With the heat pads? The clearing statement? Yes. Um, and do you remember what clearing statement yeah. was trans? What creation of time being your scapegoat out of choosing are you using to lock into existence as positional heat pads? Or are you, locking that, into, are you locking into existence as positional heat pads? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yep. Yep. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Wow. Okay, cool. So that one change will change so much, I can't even tell you guys, okay? If you start choosing the big stuff first, like, ooh, we'll expand my life totally. Okay, let me get a hold of that person first, not after I do everything else, because choice is literally your trump, trump card. So if you guys actually start choosing your phenomenal life, business, and reality, guess what? It's happening. Rika? Yeah. Hi, it's Lauren in Denver. Um, hi. I have a thing about, hi, w choosing things that I thought I wanted, and then it turns out to be something that I wasn't expecting and not knowing if that's going to happen when I choose something. <laughs> okay. So uh, what in a, what's an example of that in your life? Like is there something that you chose that then showed up and it sucked? Yeah. Well, I'm like I want to be an acupuncturist and have a really full, busy practice, and I got that, and then I was like, oh, I want to – it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be like, so I want something else. And then I create that, and then I'm like, oh, I don't, I didn't really expect it to be like that. <laughs> you know. Okay, that's really cool. I love these amazing infinite creators of magnitude who just go successful business snap. Oh, never mind. Successful. Business, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, so, <laughs> so who did you learn that one from? Lauren, who'd you learn that one from? I'm not sure. Okay, so everything that brings up times I got to the will you just join and create it all? Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, me on. So, okay, there's a few things going on there. So if you create the conclusion that this is what I'm, this is what I want, you basically set your goal. When you reach your goal, you're going to want to destroy it so that you can change it and choose something else, some other conclusion, in order to create again. See, and this is where creating your life from a conclusion creates so much destruction, I can't even begin to tell you, okay? Because what Lauren would do was destroy her acupuncture business to be able to change or choose something else. Yes. Okay, so ev everything that brings up and everything you're already destroying in order to choose something else, instead of allowing everything to be changed and generative in 10-second increments. Will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, me on. The thing is, when you're willing to have your world constantly change, guess what? You can't be right. Do you see how that just totally boggled your brains? <laughs> you hear that. Can we say it again? Yes. <laughs> so when, yes. when you're willing to have your your world or your business or your reality or whatever constantly change, you can never be right. So How come we can understand that? <laughs> okay. It's okay. 
we'll run some clearing statements around it. By the end of eight weeks, you'll be like, oh, oh, see. We'll get there. We'll get there sooner than that. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, and everywhere you're actually more invested in being right than you are in having a phenomenal, amazing, incredible life. Will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. 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 Please. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Rika, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, could you go? Here. Could you go into responsibility on that sure. one? Yeah. So responsibility, does that make you feel lighter or heavier? (laughs) Heavier. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, the truth will always make you feel lighter, and a lie will make you feel heavier. So everything that you've made yourself responsible for that is a burden, that is a heaviness, and everywhere you're using all of that as an excuse to not choose, Mm -hmm. be destroying and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, baby. Yes. Hi. 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 I first want to say you're amazing and brilliant. Truly. Aw, thanks. I'm like, I want to get week eight right now, and I'm like, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We're getting there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you know, I really just, just love you. I just think you're amazing. So thank you for the contribution you are, truly. Um, thank you. Thank you. What's coming up? I've done a lot of stuff with you, and I just love you. Okay. Anyway, my question. Um, as I step into choosing, mm-hmm. what I'm finding getting in my way is this thing about making enough money in order to create the life that I uh, desire which partly is being able to take care of my two children. And um, so that's just a big area that's showing up is like how do I choose without creating this limitation in my choosing so I can really choose from a place of what will be fun mm-hmm. and rewarding and a so contribution as well. A, a lot of people do that. They put money before choice. Right. Okay, I put choice before money. If you put choice before money, you'll actually have money. Yeah. It's really weird, okay? And it may seem like non-logical and nonsensical. But the thing is, it's actually a choice to have money. So let me, first, everything that brings up times a godzillion, everywhere you've been putting money before choice, always, and before you'll choose anything, you look at the money. As if money was the reality that you had to function underneath. But you just drain and create all that times a godzillion. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So Richard Branson wanted to buy an island. He was choosing it. He's like, I'll buy an island. That would be fun. He didn't have any money at this point. So he talks to a bunch of realtors, and he goes, hey, I'd like to buy an island. They go, cool. Let me fly you out to the island. They've got Vuv Clico, they're treating them, all kinds of stuff. He's got three different realtors flying them out to different islands. They're paying for the jets and everything, and this is fantastic. Until they find out, he has no money. So the realtor leaves him on the island. And guess what he created? Virgin America. He went, great, okay, I guess they left me here, so what else is possible? Why don't I charter a plane and charge for the tickets? Oh, wow, that made me a lot of money. Why don't I start an airline? Okay, and that's what in business they call innovation. It's always being in the question. It's always choosing the biggest, most expansive, most joyful option, like where you go, wow, how could this turn out better than anything I could have ever imagined? That way. And you just head off that way as if you're, you know, a two-year-old or a four-year-old or a five-year-old going, of course, see you there. (laughs) (laughs) So everywhere you haven't allowed yourself to be that five-year-old that knows everything is possible and all you have to do is pack your little Benny sack and put it over your head and just start going Mm -hmm. in that direction. Everything that doesn't allow you to totally know that 
through every pore of your body and being, and all the adult stupid stuff that you've learned, will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys and beyond. See, what's weird is in these classes, you could go to, oh, my God, she's asking me to throw away my entire life. No, I'm asking you to throw away everywhere you've limited yourself. That doesn't allow you to have your life. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, please. Can you do that all in like a one little question type of thing? Because <laughs> sometimes it feels like there's so much required to choose through access, which is all phenomenal. But it's like, am I asking the right question? Am I in allowance? And I, and I feel like I'm bouncing all over that there's this like, oh, my God, what is – What's required off, of me to there, really make this easy? First off, the, there is no right question. I I, I know. Okay, so how <laughs> invested are you hard. guys into having into getting things right? Yeah, that's probably pretty big for me. Okay, so Miss Lauren, are you a little invested in getting things right? Let's see if she's yep. on mute or off mute. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> She's very cute. Okay. Are you wondering why your business never has the energy and never gifts you the energy that it could be gifting you and you always keep wanting something else because you want a different energy? Yes. It's because of that right thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So every judgment eliminates receiving create separation, right? So what if it's never about the thing and it's always about the energy? So what if you what you're actually cuz the thing is you keep moving for something else cuz you know something else is possible. Yet what if the something else that's possible that you're actually looking for is energetic? And what if you could change anything about your current business and add anything to it that would be exciting, adventurous, have a lot of energy, right? It would add that excitement into it. Yeah. So everywhere you're trying to get your business right, times a godzillion, will you destroy and create all that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys and beyonds. And see, unfortunately, a lot of people won't give up their rightness because then they feel like, oh, then it'll be wrong. And you're like, oh, my God, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> What if it's neither right nor wrong? What if it's just, what if it just is? What if everything just is? What if right and wrong was just a creation that you were sold in order to limit you? Yeah. Everything that brings up times of God, well, you destroy and create it all. Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, man, yes. Oh, yay, you can hear me. Okay. Um, This is, yay, this is Kim. And um, I've had a lot of wonderful things start coming up. I was asked to record the introduction for a radio program, and that went well over the weekend. Um, Yeah, and lots of things like this. And my legal case is moving forward. Cool. And um, so if anything comes up around that to clear, that would be wonderful. Um, There's a lot going on in the next three weeks. Cool. Glad you're on this class. Yes, absolutely. Rika, this is Elizabeth. Could I ask you a question? Sure. Um, could you talk a little bit about the excitement part of, um, you know, in, in your business and, and creating things? Because in the last three years, I think I've had the great luxury to create whatever I wanted to create. Okay, wait, hold um, on. Um, Elizabeth, I'm going to put you on hold for just a second because um, Kim was just asking a question too, but I got I'm sorry. Of your piece. So I'll jump back to Kim and then jump back to you if that's okay. Okay, Kim, that's well, I'm great. Sorry, thank you. you. Saying? I thought she was going to add something to it. Yeah, me but, too. Okay, thank you. And who knows, maybe it, maybe it is. Um, yeah, it's probably all together uh, anyway. So. Yeah, so... Um, anything to clear around the case, and uh, and then the other part of it is, I called a credit card to ask a question about it, and found out that somebody somehow either out of my mailbox or whatever had gotten a hold of two checks, and written 
like $1,700 in checks. Mm -hmm. I closed the account, got that taken care of. That's all fine now. And then I call, got a call today that somebody has my name, address, and phone number, different driver's license, different checking account, written a check to Albertsons that now a collections agency is coming after me, and I'm having to clear that up. And, and so they don't have my license, they don't have my accounts, but yet there's something going on here, a little bit of a distraction or a pull or a time-consuming. So what is, whatever that energy, I can feel the energy, I would just love to clear it or any insights of that and then anything going on with the case. Okay, hey, Kimmy, so if someone walks on you, yeah, is that, is that right? Like, should they probably just walk on you because, I don't know, you know, you're not really worth anything. So Yeah, what That's- you're picking up is there's an answer that comes that's no, and that has been a lifelong pattern when I was a kid. Yeah. And there's so every, every So everything your mom did to break your spirit? Dad. Yeah, and my dad, yeah. And your dad. And everything that they did to contain that, yeah, that, that out of control, crazy, insanity energy that if you be that, people won't fuck with you. So everything you learn about how to control and cap that, will you, would you destroy and create all that time to God's name? Absolutely. No matter what? Absolutely. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyond. There are times when I can turn that on to achieve a result, um, and and it can also cost me people being, it, it used to cost me sometimes people being afraid of me, but it could also help me survive or get things done. So what I'd love to do is whatever that generative okay. space of consciousness that is to accomplish it all and have yeah. it all work. Okay, so the thing is, though, when you did it before, Kim, was it actually from not wanting to be it and then exploding to be it? Or was it actually from, I'll be anything at will and choice, I have no point of view or no limitation, like no idea of what I am and what I am not? Because if you do it from that other place, people can still feel it. Like, they can still feel like she's not really going to do it, or they have to build you up to it, or... And maybe it sort of worked, but it's not like present. So everywhere you've kept, used, everywhere you've tried to keep this energy away from you in order to not be your parents, will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Absolutely, yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pod, shorts, boys, and beyond. It doesn't mean you, it's sort of like as an, but as an infinite being, would you be any and all energies at will and choice? Yes. So you'd, a- you'd actually embody everything. Right. If you embody all of that energy, generally people will not, like, they won't toy with somebody like that. Because there's a million other fishes in the sea that will be willing to be walked on. Yep, there's a a sense that I've got of a freedom of choice. I've been able to turn on what I've called a, like if I'm going to walk in the streets of New York sometimes or in a place where it didn't quite feel safe or what I call a fuck you attitude. And I could turn that on. Um, that's not a place that I've liked to go to, which means that there's judgment in it. Yeah, so that, exactly. That there's there's a, a sense that I can get of an energy of just complete allowance, acceptance, um, freedom of choice. Um, and there's like a little lock and key that's still hanging there, that's still... Um, making me have the feel or the need to assess it, which means that I'm judging or concluding. So I don't have that complete freedom to just really allow the miraculous gift that I am or that anybody else is to just simply be and choose. Okay, so what creation of never getting angry are you using to lock into existence with and as positional heat pads? Great. Everything that brings up times a godzillion when you start to create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, poc, shorts, boys, man. And for those of you on the call, it may feel like you went to left field and you're like, why are we doing left field? Oh, my God, this energy of quote-unquote anger is actually part of the energy that's required for you to demand your phenomenal life. 
So what's interesting is a lot of the times when we unlock this place of anger, people will start generating like crazy, cool, amazing, powerful, potent, holy Moses, get out of their way because they're going kind of stuff in their life, okay? So what if you didn't judge anger? How much have you well, judged is, different it, energy? Yeah, my father had a rage problem, and my sister, my father's now passed, but my sister lives in anger, and I used yeah. to. I, yeah, this is huge. Okay, so everywhere you did rage and anger from the way that they did it, instead of just the choice of energy, will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes, times a godzillion. Right, wrong, right, wrong good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, what's really insane, you guys? Okay, try this. When you go to, when you know that anger is required, okay, actually get bigger and fill all your space with anger. And then actually take that and get even bigger and fill all that space with anger. And then get bigger and fill all that space with anger. Whatever it is on the other end of the phone call or conversation that's required, they'll literally be doing whatever the heck you want them to do instantaneously. <clears throat> and the thing is, what I've sort of, okay, so I've been around different energies. You know the different energies that will kind of tug at you or tank you in any way? Like either like you're around somebody who's angry and then you leave and you're exhausted or you're around somebody who does drugs and you leave and you're exhausted. What I've been doing quite a bit of is, oh, wow, really? So I think this energy is greater than me? Watch this. And I'll get bigger and embody even more energy, like way, like 10 billion times more than whatever it is I thought was bigger than me, like that. And then I'll do it again and again. And it's actually assisted a lot. So you may want to, when you get to those choice points of going, I'm get starting to get tanked by something, okay, make yourself bigger and more potent. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, yes. I'll, pr- I'll play and talk to you. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what's the value of never getting angry? Wish. I'm a spiritual person. I like allowance <laughs> better than anger. <laughs> Everything that brings up times of God so you know you destroy and create it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And how much suppressed anger do you have about the life that isn't working for you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever it is in your life that you're like, this has got to change. How much suppressed anger have you locked into your body and your universe? Uh, Okay, so what creation of suppressed and repressed anger against your body as reality are you using to force disconnection from your body with positional heat pads? Wow. Everything that brings up times a godzillion will use the strain and create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, meons. What's weird is that energy of anger unjudged is actually like running a 26-mile marathon and having all of the energy in the world to keep going. If you don't have any judgment of the quote-unquote energy of anger, see, the way that our parents did anger was suppress, 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 explode, then judge yourself. Right. Okay, that's not the version of anger we're talking about. This version of anger is like this assertiveness and this potency and this bigness and this demand and this like, like you're going. Thank you very much. Okay. Does so what creates anger? What's that? Do you express the anger? Um, only when required. See, the thing is, for the most part, anger is used in this reality as destructive. The energy of anger, unjudged and used as a generative force, is huge. It's massive. Okay, so everywhere you've been resisting anger and trying to shut it off and trying to close it down and trying to put a lid on it because it's bad, instead of embracing it as a choice, when it works for you, will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? 
Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. I literally almost never have to use anger, okay? But I will use the energy of anger to work out sometimes, not as a force against my body, but as a generative uh, intensity. So when you unjudge something, you can choose any bit of it mixed with gratitude, mixed with joy, mixed with, you know, anti-gravity, mixed, mixed with MTVSS, mixed with... But when you judge an anger and put it in a category, you've cut off your ability to be it at any time. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can so, you use an example of when you do that, when you don't express it but you choose it? Uh, yeah. I can use lots of examples. Um, cool. So first, everything that brings up, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, me, and Sometimes, like like I said, working out, I'll use like an edge of intensity that my body just, I mean, it's a turn on. It's not a turn off. It's like this like super intense potency of what feels like maybe fourth like anger, then it feels like also like joy, and it feels like anti-gravity, and it feels like MTVSS, and it feels like, right? So it's not that you have to embody the whole energy of it, and that's your only choice. You just have it there to dabble in if you want. How much energy of anger have you locked out of your universe that if you dabbled in would actually give you your phenomenal life? Oh, boy. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So if... Say I was talking to a credit card company or something, and they weren't doing something. I literally go bigger and more angry. Like I just go, boom, and then they go, okay, okay, here, oh, yeah, okay, no problem. But it's not always required. Sometimes allowance and sweetness and softness is required. It just depends on the particular person I'm speaking to. And it's not directed at them. It's almost like this all-encompassing this is where we are going, and either you're going to go there or you're going to go there. Does that make sense? Hey, can you speak to um, people that shut down when you are experiencing that anger vibration? <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. Okay, so if you're ever getting angry, uh, okay, so, well, okay, let me give you your piece and then a, a three other pieces. So, if someone's shutting down around you, what you want to tell them is, hey, I just have to let you know this. Wow. This has absolutely nothing to do with you. I'm actually stepping into a potency in my life, and this is a really generative thing for me. So don't worry about it. Don't try to, don't try to fix it. Don't try to do anything with it. Okay, if you tell them that, it'll create ease. So from now on, when anger comes up, it's not that you're just getting angry and you shouldn't get angry and you can't believe that you're so pissed off and you should judge yourself, okay? We're going to throw away that. So will you not throw away the paradigm of anger that you've created mm -hmm. or that you've bought from this reality? Yes. Times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, man. So from now on, it's either that if you're talking to somebody and you get angry at the words they're saying, they may be lying to you. Okay, anytime anyone lies to you, it's going to make you angry. Okay, which means anytime you lie to you, it may make you angry. Okay, so all the suppressed anger from all the lies that you've made true. Through all time, space, dimensions, and realities, will you destroy and create all that times a gazillion? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, talk, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, cool. So, or there's a potency showing up. Sometimes when I'm showing up, like when I, there's one time I went to Australia and someone else was facilitating and I was like, well, I do photography and I do this other stuff, so I'm going to let this person facilitate. I don't need to stand up and be me and lead and, you know, rock their worlds because I should sit over here and do this photography stuff because she can do that because she doesn't do photography. Okay, I was so pissed off, I can't even tell you. I'm watching her facilitate going, okay, I need to be heard. This doesn't work for me. Me keeping quiet and not having my life is pissing me off, like, to no degree. So totally angry, totally livid, cried hysterically, and then the, from then on, I have this completely different potency with crowds. Because I made the demand, no matter what, I was going to be fucking heard, thank you very much. 
And I'm going to show up as bigger than this entire universe and invite billions of people to something that I know is possible. And they can choose it if they want, but I'm fucking doing it. How can I not cuss in telecalls? I don't know, but when I cuss, it just gets so much better. <laughs> okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pod box shorts. Towards me. Those of you that know me are just like cracking up in your little heads right now. Because <laughs> I've been trying to clean up my mouth as I go like, you know, national and worldwide and radio shows. And I'm like, and I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> It makes it so much more fun when you add the F word. But I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Darn it, Rika. Oh, good. Yeah. Can I say something more about the anger piece? Sure. That, um, for me, yeah, has been something that stuck me, I think, just about my whole life. I, You know, when I was younger, I used to feel like my power was somehow locked within my anger. And, and there's this energy, this potency that comes up for me that's very, very strong and I know I've misapplied it as anger but I have these a lot of like I always keep shutting myself down because I think other people won't accept me or won't like me but I feel like it's such an essential part of my energy I keep just like rejecting myself and it, it seems like an automatic thing I do a lot okay you know so how I'm many saying? of you guys don't get angry in order to be superior <laughs> Okay, that is really screwed up, and I've never, ever seen that before. But all of a sudden, I was like, wait a second, because I used to do that, where I'd be like, I am not getting angry, and you just shove it and twist it out of your universe and shove it and twist it out of your universe because you wanted to actually be, like, sort of greater than the anger, as if the anger wasn't appropriate. Okay, so everywhere that you've shoved or twisted the anger out of your universe... Will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Never will you cut off your energy to that? Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what I might recommend to you guys is if you can go to the beach or the mountains or something and literally go back in your in your life and every time someone lied to you, like when you were a little kid and they're like, you can't do this, and you got angry, and then you got in trouble for getting angry when really they were fucking lying to you. Okay, will you now go, like, I, if I were you, I'd take a walk and go back through all those times when I, you shut down your anger versus going, no, thank you very much, this anger is appropriate. You were actually judging and lying to me, and I don't appreciate it. You know what, I'm going to have this, thank you very much. Okay, when I was a little kid, I actually was told that I couldn't hold a tune. Okay, and I was pissed. I was like, ah, right? Why can't you support me? Ah, they were lying to me. Of course I can hold a freaking tune. <laughs> right? It's like now I sing and write music and have a record deal. If I would have bought their point of view, I wouldn't have done any of that. So everywhere you can now give everyone the bird who told you you couldn't, do you now do so? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And just whatever it takes. And you, Okay, let's do this one, two, three thing. Okay? And what you're going to do is change everything that you've done in the past to eat shit from people. That you couldn't do it, you weren't good enough, you weren't smart enough, you weren't pretty enough, you weren't this enough to be able to have what it is you wanted to have as your life. Okay, will you take all that energy of anger, because basically we're going to destroy and uncreate it on three. And tell them to fuck off at the same time. You don't have to do it at them. You're doing it at the energy. Okay? One, two, and three. <laughs> Woo! Babies! God, wahoo. Oh. That's some Man. heavy gunk. Yeah, right? That got me dizzy. Hey, Rika. Yes. Hey, um, I still have some uh, some energy um around that thing I was talking to you about. Um, the first part, I think we took care of where I thought I wasn't good enough, and the second part was uh, the choice where I thought that 
um, like uh, it's not the right choice. Like, I might be choosing the wrong thing. But there's still a little bit more of resistance around that. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Yeah. See, the thing is, is if you're trying to make the right choice, you'll also try to judge all your choices as wrong to make sure that they're not wrong. Dude, I've never seen that before either. That's wild. If you're trying to make the right choice, you'll also judge all of your choices as wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. So everything that brings up times a godzillion and all the judgment you've done of every choice you've ever done, times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, me on. So you want to start choosing your life in 10-second increments. Like, Tony, it'd be more like, is it a yes? Okay, it is a yes. Is it a yes now? Okay, it is a yes now. Is it a yes now? Okay, I guess it is a yes now. That's as much of the conversation I have about any choice, by the way. Well, it is a yes right now. Uh, like, I'm okay. thinking about it, uh, and it's a yes, but I still feel a little bit of resistance there. Resistance to what? To uh, taking this job. Okay, so what the so what are you trying to not have happen? Like, are you trying to get them to not hire you because you're not good enough anyway? Are you trying to not really make a commitment to it because you don't want to you don't want to eliminate your choices? Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Okay, so that. That's another huge piece in trying to make the right choice, okay? Because if you try to make the right choice, if he's judged that this choice is right, he'll lock himself into that choice forever, even if it doesn't work. So if, you get, if you're trying to make the right choice, basically you'll stick yourself into that for longer than it actually works for you. So, Tony, would you be willing to choose it, choose it, choose it, choose it, choose it, walk in, choose it, walk in, choose it, Wow, it feels heavy now. I guess it is a no. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's the thing. It's like we're taught to be responsible. We're taught to keep our word. We're taught to. So then you find yourself judging everything because you're trying to make the right choice, trying to be committed to that choice to be a good person. Okay, all of that yeah. is a paradigm that completely eliminates your choice and won't allow you to continue choosing in 10-second increments. Okay, choice is your trump card. What people, functioning from the other paradigm, people will be in marriages that don't work for them, that they're both unhappy for like 16 years. And you'll ask them, so when did you know you shouldn't have gotten married? And they're like, well, about a month after the invitations went out. <laughs> and you're like, Oh, my God, for that long, you've been married, and it hasn't worked for you. That, the, that paradigm of trying to make the right choice and keeping your word and being responsible and all that stuff creates that. So would you rather have that, or would you allow yourself to be the 10-second infinite being that chooses anything in 10 seconds that actually works for you and be whatever judgment people call that? So which would you rather be? The 10-second increments, for sure. Okay, so everywhere you've been trying to avoid the judgments of being a flake or being irresponsible or being spacey or being lazy. You always change your mind. What's a flighty? Yeah, everything that brings up mm -hmm. times a godzillion. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so Elizabeth brought up something. Um, are you off mute, Elizabeth? Uh, I'm here. Can you hear me? I had to mute my phone. Oh, yeah, no that's problem. Make, yeah, it's making all kinds of loud noises over here. So the anger discussion was valuable. Um, what came up for me is that, and I think in the last two days I've realized, too, that it's, um, it's manifesting itself now as nausea. I'm nauseous. I, I get nauseous all the time now. I'm listening to this conversation and, I, and I'm completely nauseous. I want to, and it's like this whole thing. I just, what's come up is that through the anger conversation, is that I've been suppressing uh, this 
I've been suppressing my anger for, oh God, I fucking don't know how long. Probably for a very long time. Um, yeah. That's kind of what's coming up. And it's definitely inhibiting my ability to move forward in everything that I'm doing. Um, you know, I've had some really lucrative opportunities, all of which have kind of gone to a certain point, and then they just stop. And then I sit there and smile and whatever, do whatever is right or correct. So I'm just mind-boggled right now going, fuck, what do I do next? You know, what is the next thing? What do I got to do to stop this recurring cycle that I have myself apparently trapped in? Okay, so I'm going to ask you a little bit of a hard question. Are you up for it? Yeah, fine. Okay, so truth... Do you love destruction? Yes or no? Uh, It's coming up as a yes. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Okay, so the thing is... Okay, so let's run this. So what's the value of never allowing yourself to have the joy of destruction? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyonds. See, the weird thing is you would think this process would get you to destroy more, but what it does is get you aware of where you are doing the joy of destruction and then hiding it from yourself. And I actually know this one really well, you guys, just to let you know. <laughs> okay. All of the – anything that I'm sharing with you or anything I'm running with on you guys is because I've actually been there to – and back again and there and back again okay so the joy of destruction was something that was given to me as like hey you're destroying all kinds of stuff and i'm like what what destruction what 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 are you talking about (laughs) you know and so okay so just know that anything i'm running on you isn't because i've got it and i'm there and it's because i've just been there and i'm still using all this stuff every day so what's the value of never allowing you to have the joy of destruction Everyone, you're not supposed to, you shouldn't, it's bad, except you love it, everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, towards boys and beyond. Oh, boy. I have to tell you the truth, I'm completely, like, confused. I mean, I heard what you said, but I'm like, no, what is she talking about? Right. Uh, I hear ya. Okay, and this is one of those kind of ways in which access consciousness works so beautifully. Because you can actually energetically undo stuff that you're functioning from, have way more awareness, and actually choose something else, instead of still creating the same unconscious behaviors. So if you have this joy of destruction, have you allowed yourself to have it and embody it and choose it if you choose it, or have you tried to hide it from you as if you weren't doing it? Oh, you know what what this has come up for me? I have this thing that I've been doing for at least 30 years now, and I was married, I was doing it. It's like my ex and I did it, and I'm still doing it. Love to buy older homes and rip them up and make them into newer homes. In fact, I've even said to myself, what would it be like to actually live in a new construction home and not to walk in there and say, okay, that wall's got to tear down, that wall's got, that's got to be replaced over there. That's the closest example I can think of right now. That's a real example that's come up for me. Is something I can, you know, I actually really do enjoy tearing things down, but I also enjoy building them back up again. So, okay, but that's all good. Okay. Yet, prior to this conversation, did you allow yourself to have the joy of destruction? Were you like, yes, I love destroying things? Were you like, no, I just like to create things. I don't know why things are being destroyed. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So I just got to, if I get you aware of where you are, then we know where we're going and you can actually have where it is you want to go. So Thank you. what's the value? No worries. Dude, I've been there. I've so been there. I'm like, oh, well, how does this apply? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, I swear to God it does. <laughs> okay, so what's the value of never having and embodying the joy of destruction? Hmm. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Yes. Like that's so right, wrong, heavy. Right, wrong, good, right. bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. I know. 
But it's a, it's almost like, well, if I'm a creator, why would I destruct what I created? Because you really yeah. love destruction, and you won't allow yourself to see it, so you keep destroying everything behind your back, so you don't really know you're doing it, but you totally enjoy it. Okay. Isn't that funny? I know. I was like, what do you mean I'm doing that? <laughs> Except I totally was. And what's interesting, after running this process, I can now see how in every conversation where I had created destruction, prior to running that process, I couldn't ever see it, so I could never change it. So n now I have, and I keep running this too, now I have a different awareness of what I can actually choose that would allow everything to be totally generative and contributive. Everything and everyone, no matter who they are, to be generative and contributive. So what's the value of never having and embodying the true joy of destruction? Everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, talk, shorts, boys, and beyond. Because once you allow yourself to have it, you'll actually choose to keep something or generate it or change it instead of destroying it but hiding it. I'm sorry, what so were you going to say? That? What's the value of never truly having the joy of destruction, having and embodying the joy of destruction. What were you going to ask? There was somebody else who was going to ask a question. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Stina from Sweden. Um, what comes up is safe, being safe. Have a, you know, um, according like you to... Do you, do you get what I'm into? You're so cute. So do you mean that it's to keep you safe or others safe? Oh, mm. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so what would be what would be a more rewarding choice? Awareness or safety? Well, that's that's the deal cuz cuz in contextual reality where right and wrong, where you have the polarity. Um, it's like, okay, if I do this, I'm safe. I'm right or I'm wrong. Either way, I'm safe. But if I'm in the non-contextual, in my knowing, in my being, there's no safety. So I stay in the middle. I have times when I'm in my being, and I have times when I'm trying to be in the contextual reality. And, and I have places where they're both sta safe. See? Okay, so check, check this out. So what would be more rewarding, safety or awareness? Mm, awareness. <laughs> okay, so everywhere you've been functioning from safety, which is every judgment that's keeping you from your total awareness, that would actually create mm. complete knowing, an infinite knowing, which would, it's like it would equal something so much greater than safety, I can't even begin to, to sort of explain it. Yeah. So everything that brings up and everywhere you've been creating this idea of safety, will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion and have awareness instead? Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Yeah, because I kind of get that because cause it feels lighter and much more fun. <laughs> yeah. But really then, exactly. yeah. Lighter and more fun. <laughs> <laughs> there's the word, the reason why the, there's a word light and enlightenment. Okay. Mm. <laughs> or else it would be in heavy mint. <laughs> mm. Oh, you guys are funny. Rika, this okay. is Shaman. Yeah. Can I have a quick question? Yeah, sure. So so um when you're asking what's holding me back from being in my phenomenal life and living okay. it, the big thing that comes up for me is in business I just have ideas that I love and know are fantastic. And then I just stop it right there because I'm afraid of tr trying to make it happen and plopping. So I just keep in that space of, oh, that's so good. And they, I'm still afraid to, like, let it out. <laughs> well, at least you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right about your secret success. And you're right about your failure. <laughs> I, 
everything that brings up times of God, so, you know, you're destroying and great all that. Yes. 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 I'm going to bet all nine pod pox shorts, boys, me on. So let me ask you, Kim, truth, is that enough for you? No. No. Okay, so what would you actually really truly like to choose? If I was choosing for me, I would just run with it and play with it and have fun with it and see see what it is when I put it out in the world uh, and, and how it could be better than anything I'm even imagining. Yeah. See, and what you want to look at is, like, sometimes people will have ideas about the future or some future project or some future something, okay? So they have these, like, grandiose type of ideas. Well, what if instead of projecting this grandiose idea and then creating from conclusion, you created a taste of something that had that energy, and then you started putting it out in the world and going, hey, we can make me money. Okay, so what if you – because, like, with those ideas, what if you began – you know, kind of germinating the the idea and going, okay, so what do you guys think about that? And then it's kind of like testing your market for it because you want to create things that are going to generate whole bunches of money and all kinds of awesome stuff, right? So have you mm-hmm. ever been, have you ever allowed yourself to receive that kind of contribution from people around you? No. Or do you, do you have the point of view they would just reject you? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion and everywhere you've created your entire life to avoid rejection. You destroy and create all that times a godzillion. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and me. Yeah. <laughs> and get the stupid people that reject you just aren't willing to receive you, darling. Okay. If they're stupid enough to reject you, okay, cool, next. Okay, awesome. That is so much lighter. I just, wow, thank you. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. <sighs> oh, my God, this is great. Okay, so what creation of keeping your success a secret? Oh, gosh. As reality, are you locking into existence with and as the positional heap pads you are choosing? Oh, my gosh, yes. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you just try and create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh, my God. How much of that actually came from sharing your ideas with your parents and then having them slaughtered? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so you're like, yes. oh, the only way I can be a success and successful and whatever it is I truly want to be is to keep it a total secret. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Everything that brings us time to God, so, you know, will you destroy and create all that? Yeah, absolutely. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So what's yeah, creation? I was always taught, I was always okay. taught that to, um, if you have an idea, to always keep it a secret. To not let other people know of what you're, yeah. you're going to be doing. Okay, there's yeah, another it's trick always knocked the, down. Well, yeah, and there's another trick called awareness. Don't tell stupid people things they can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea. <laughs> You're like, okay, here, you got to take this IQ test before I tell you my idea. <laughs> How stupid are you? <laughs> hey, you're too stupid. Never mind. <laughs> Hello, Rika. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, when, I can have the feeling that if uh, if I do tell someone, it's not going to happen. It's going to take away the fun of it because they come with all the judgments and and I, oh, 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 it's not going to work because you don't think it's going to work. But I kind of like you're, it, you know. You're so, you're so cute. Okay, so don't tell stupid people things that they can't hear, okay? That's literally yeah. the process, okay? Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's no process for this one. Just don't tell stupid people what they can't hear. So there are there are things that I don't talk about with certain people, yeah. like my family. Mm. Okay, I talk to people who, when I have an idea or something, I talk about it with people who are actually more brilliant than I am at creating it. 
Okay, so how I many think it's, it's a matter of trying to help because if I do access work, I want everyone to do access work, you know, and they can't receive it. Yeah, okay, so you might want to get off the position of trying to help anyone anytime, yeah. okay? Because yeah. help mm -hmm. is actually, how much judgment does it require in order to go into that position of help? Yeah. A ton. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so everything that you've done to try to help people, because it was considered a good thing in this reality, but it's actually a judgment. And huh. everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you yeah. destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. Yes, you got it. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Hmm. I never really got that, but it's really true. You have to have the judgment. Yeah. Wow, yeah, thank so you, Rika. <laughs> oh, God, you're so welcome. There's something else you can do, and that's question, contribution, and choice. Hmm. You can ask a question. You can be in a contributive energy. You can choose something. But... The, pos and the position of help is almost as if you're superior and they're inferior and now you have to help them. The thing is they've chose their entire mm -hmm. life. So if you yeah. ask them a question about it, they'll be able to choose something else. If you try to help them or tell them anything, they'll totally reject you. Yeah, because you know I do healing work and it makes me angry. It brings up the anger. But perhaps that's, be oh, this is conclusion, but uh, it's because I have to have a judgment and that's not really true for me. No, 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 no. That's definitely not true for you. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and the other thing oh. is um, uh, sometimes when there's a potency showing up, it can feel a little yeah. bit like anger. Mm. Okay, and the other thing is you want to stay out of any conclusion of where you want anyone to go in their session. Like you want to mm. be in the question. Hey, I wonder what's possible here. I wonder mm. what they're willing to receive. Because if you have a conclusion like this stupid idiot, I could change this in a second if they just let me. <laughs> You might get angry when they don't. <laughs> yes. Okay. I take myself in the bathroom and pock and pod myself. I'm like, okay, pock and pod everywhere you think that you know better than they do for their life because they're actually choosing it. They love it that way. Okay. <laughs> so, so what creation of keeping your success a secret from everybody, including you? <laughs> Are you locking into existence with and as positional keypads? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so the thing is, with everything that you do, are people going to judge it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, I know because I've done it. <laughs> If I cuss, people hate, some people hate me, some people love me. If I don't cuss, like some people love the cussing and some people hate it. And you're like, okay, which one do you guys want me to choose here? Somebody make up their judgmental mind, okay? <laughs> so what if no matter how anybody judged you or anything, you still took all of their judgments as just an interesting point of view and still went wherever the heck you wanted to go? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything that brings up, so how much of your life have you created in order to avoid other people's judgments of you, of, of your ideas? What, Rika? All of it. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, hot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Yeah? Oh, I didn't know if you could hear me. There's almost this idea that their judgment can destroy you or destroy yeah. what you create. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So how much have you guys used judgment to totally destroy you? Huge. Destroy you, destroy your ideas, destroy your body, destroy your relationships. Are you guys a little tired of that paradigm? Very yeah. much. It's such an old program, by the way. It's literally like ancient. Okay, so how many of you guys would be willing to get angry enough at judgment to stop? I am. Yes. Truth? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to one, two, three, this whole idea of judgment, because it's an old freaking paradigm that doesn't even work. It doesn't work at all to create anything that you actually want. <laughs> so on three, all the judgment and the systems for judgment, 
all the programs, all the implants, and all the explants times a godzillion, and everything that you think is so valuable about judgment, we now destroy it and create it on three. Yes. Yes. One. All of it. Don't hide any of it. <laughs> Two. All of it. And three. Yes. Woo, baby. Thank you. Oh, boy. Might need that one again. Eureka. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Thank boy, you. you guys. Hey, Rika, I know we're pulling an yeah. all-nighter here. <laughs> Are we? What time is it? It's, it's almost, late. It's late. Oh, Bye. my God. I've been going on forever. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm <laughs> pointing out the obvious to those of us. Uh, but I do Fine have a me. quick question. You started the call off on a really awesome note, and it was this whole thing around not being good enough. And I don't know if it's just an awareness I'm getting or what, but I feel like there's more energy around that that is required for us as a group to take with us to clear so we can really move that crap out. So the thing about hmm, what seems like it's almost required is a demand of you that you actually know you. Okay. That you don't buy anybody else's pile of shit about you not being good enough. That you're like, thank you so very much for your judgment of you and everything you projected onto me. You can go to hell now. Because I am fucking good enough. Not only am I good enough, I am way too much. I can have my phenomenal life, business, and reality instantaneously if I move my pinky. Okay. I am huge. I'm as big as the universe. I can generate anything. I can have any life. So this whole idea of not being good enough, look at how small that is compared to you as an infinite being. It's like stupid play. (laughs) Yeah, cool. And not even quite sure how you fit yourself into that tiny enough, as tiny of a box. So, (laughs) So will you now tell all of the not good enough to basically fuck off. Yes. 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 Screw you. Fuck you. I don't think so. This is not going to work for me. I am so not having this as my reality. So okay, on three? It. On three? No yes. matter what? Yes. Even if you yes. like you? No matter what. Two? Yes. Yes. And three. You can do it. Like, you can change energy as many times as you need to. Cool. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. The other thing is, um, remember you're psychic. You're going to perceive it in other people's universes. Okay? So when you do, just go, wow, who's that belong to? Cool. Okay, the other thing is, in, if you haven't done who does this belong to, you're going to want to do it for three days. Because if you don't do that, you're almost starting yourself off handicapped. Because you think you still are the world around you, and until you do who does this belong to, you don't have the consciousness to know you're not the world around you, and it's really difficult to create your life. Like to create a life that's different from how everybody does reality here. Because you have to know you're not the world around you. So the way it goes Mm -hmm. is you just ask who does this belong to for every thought, every feeling, and every emotion. And if you have done it a bunch, what if you actually demanded that this is your class and your time to have you? This was your class and your time and your life to finally have the life that you truly like to have, and you're not stopping come hell or high water. I'm sorry I'm having it. Thank you very much. Okay, so what gets brought up when I say that? Does that feel like a yes? What's that? You're going to piss other people off? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Who would you rather have? Still not being pissed off, even though they're already pissed off? Or okay. you? Me. Okay, so you, when, I, when I asked you guys, did that, you know, okay, I'm going to demand that I have my life, I could feel that some people were like, yeah, and other people were like, well, the energy wasn't 100%, like totally in their universe of hell to the yeah. Okay. So what's the value 
of holding you back from you? What's the value of never really choosing your life? Everything that brings up and everywhere you're trying to not be wrong. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ, create all that times a godzillion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. Um, Rika? Yeah. It's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Hello. Um, actually, I'm glad you just brought this up near the end of the call because I find any time I've gone to make a demand, what really uh-huh. surprises me, like I'll be verbalizing it, like I'm at home alone and I'll be verbalizing it, and I actually start to cry or get upset. And I find that surprising because I used to be like the queen of rage for most of my life. So that sort of anger or that intensity was not was something I lived with every day. And then when I go to sort of make a demand... Um, I just I get really upset. I feel a bit like that little girl who who um, you know a lot of women when they get angry they'll start to cry. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what that is, but I'd really like to be making a demand with a different energy. <laughs> okay, so I would ask, okay, universe and body and life, what energy do I require to be in order to make this fucking occur? Okay, and just be whatever energy that is. So anywhere you've duplicated any weird trauma and drama, drama emotional reactions in order to get something, instead of the energetic awareness, will you destroy and create all that? Times a mm-hmm. million? Yes. Whatever that was. Right, wrong, good, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. And I you really know, I think whenever I made a demand or I tried to, to I could say, speak up when I was growing up, um, I got yelled at. And my throat would close up, and I wouldn't even be able to speak. And then I'd try and speak to my dad, and then he'd yell at me for using that tone of voice with him. And all I was trying to do was get it out of my throat. Hear <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so you may want to take that walk, and then start yelling at the universe. I'm having it. I'm having it easy. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna stop myself again. Whatever that is. <laughs> those demands that you need to make for you and go scream at some mountains. They'll take it, man. They have no point of view about the energy. They're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, my on. neighbors might, but I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> take a walk. Do it to some mountains. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys your assignment for this week. And you're either going to hate me or love me. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, um, so with what, so if you haven't Written, wrote, and written. written. Have it wrote, written. <laughs> you haven't written your phenomenal read life and reality and business and what it is you'd like to have out of this class. Um, Say that again. Right? There was noise. Okay, no problem. If you haven't written to me your paragraph on what your phenomenal life and business and reality is, please do that. Because um, the thing is, I can't reply to your guys' emails, but I read them. And it'll give me, it's giving me such an energetic awareness of where to take you guys. So if you haven't done that, do that. Okay, the other thing I want you to do is when you read that paragraph that you wrote to me, okay, this is what I desire, this is what I want, this is really where I'm going, this is the direction I'm going, okay? Then write down all of the points of view that you have that are stopping that from occurring. Okay. So write down, even if you do 10, whatever it is that you feel like you can do, do 10 points of view that you have that are stopping you from having that, okay? Then create a list of maybe like five points of view that you could actually take on that would allow that to show up, okay? Like if it's having money, if you're like, my demand is to finally have money, okay? Then it's like, okay, the points of view I have about money are, oh, my God, it's hard to come by. And you list all the points of view and then pock and pot them. So, wow, that point of view doesn't read for me anymore, okay? Then you want to create five points of view that actually work for you. Oh, money's easy, and it's it's abundant all the time, okay? It's always there. Okay, I love money, and I have fun with money. So create the points of view that would actually allow whatever that dream life and business to show up would be, okay? And then I'm going to have you write down five questions that would actually start generating that as a reality. So... You know, for money, it would be like, what would it take for more money to show up? You know, what could I be, do, have, create, generate, or institute that would allow more money to show up? Who could I talk to? And literally, you don't have to do this 10, 5, and 5. You can write pages. 
Okay, but I just want to give you guys something that you'll actually do if you choose to. The thing is, you also here. don't have to do any homework ever, but if you do, you may find that you have a different awareness around it. What's that, Mr. Do Tony? Do send those to you, the questions and the points uh, views, or is You know what, I would post, I'd post them on the name. Okay, and the other thing is you may want to consider grabbing somebody on the Ning and having like a little partner for this class where it's like maybe you guys, you know, talk for an hour or something and just help each other pock and pod because, oh, this is a good one too. Okay, I don't want to give you guys too much home play, um, but this is really cool. So I just want to give you this piece, and if you want to use it with somebody, you can. Whatever it is your phenomenal dream life and reality is, say it's like, you know, I want to tour the world speaking on stages, okay? What you want your partner to ask you on the phone is, so truth, are you willing to receive traveling the world and speaking on huge stages in front of thousands of people, okay? And if they say yes or no, whatever makes them feel lighter is actually true for them. So if they say yes and there's a heaviness, there's still more information that needs to clear before that can show up, okay? So then you go, okay, so... What's stopping that from, you know, what points of view do you have here? And they're like, oh, I'd die, or, oh, I'd get too anxiety. Everything that is, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So you guys can go back and forth, and someone can ask the truth. Are you willing to receive traveling the world and speaking to thousands of people on large stages? And the person says, sure, and there's no energy up. Okay? When you get to that place, and that might be something that you guys continue to get together with and process, you get to that place, Oh, my God. Energetically, man, it's like your reality is clear for liftoff. It's happening. Okay, so I would recommend all of that. <laughs> and we <laughs> should if you haven't done it. <laughs> okay, awesome, you guys. We might have gone on forever tonight, but I just, I mean, I could keep going. I'm like, <laughs> Let's go. We <laughs> Creating your dream life is a reality. Let's do it. Okay. The other thing is that um, is awesome. Class, you're gonna require. You're gonna need your bars run. Okay. I'm going to need. Cut. What are we gonna need? You're gonna need to get your bars run. At, does anybody not know about the bars? Okay. Everybody okay. knows about the bars. Good. Uh, what what if we're in an area where other people don't do the bars? Can we just do them ourselves, or you can do them yourselves, or you can um, if you're not around anyone, you can teach somebody around you where the points are on your own head to get them to hold them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're like here, hold my head here. Okay, good. Okay. Stay okay. there for twenty minutes. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. I am so excited to play with all of you. How did I get so lucky? <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, Rika. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank awesome. You. I adore you. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for Thank all your you. contribution. And I'm excited for your lives. Yes. Thank you. Does it get any better? Bye, Good night, everyone. So grateful. Bye. Bye. All right, all you beautiful beings, welcome to your home play for week one, creating your dream life and business as a reality teleclass. So what I'd like you to do this week is take the vision of where it is you'd like to go throughout this class, and what I'd like you to do is write down 10 points of view that you have that would keep that from showing up. Okay, so make a list of 10, and you can make a list of 100 if you have 100, depending on how much home play you actually want to do. Okay, then what I'd like you to do is write down five points of view that you could actually take on that would actually make that dream life or business a reality. Okay, then I want you to write down five questions that would actually begin creating it in your life. I also urge you to go on to the Ning and uh, contact somebody from class and start working on this stuff. So what you want your partner to do on the telephone 
is truth. Are you willing to receive blank, whatever your dream life and business is? Okay. And if you say yes, and it makes you feel heavy, you're actually lying. That's not actually true for you. Okay. So then have your partner ask, so what points of view do you have there that are keeping that dream life and business from showing up? And everything that comes up, you basically pock and pot it. So you guys can work back and forth and back and forth until they ask you truth. Are you willing to receive it? The answer is yes, and it makes everyone feel lighter. All right, beautifuls, have so much fun with our week one home play, and I will see you next week. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Creating Your Dream Life and Business as a Reality Teleclass. Processes for week one. Let's get started. What creation for the preparation for discouragement in and as life do you have? Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using that are keeping in train being a good girl or boy who learned everything from your parents that you needed to? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of no matter what, the other shoe will drop, and everything good only lasts so long, and the rug will always get pulled out from under you, everything will always fall apart, are you using to bring into existence the positional he pads you are choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of never being good enough as reality are you locking into existence with and as the positional he pads you are choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of your life as a conclusion, as a reality, are you using to bring into existence the positional he pads you are choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of your life as the right conclusion, as reality, are you using to bring into existence the positional he pads you are choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of time being your scapegoat out of choosing are you locking to, into existence as the positional he pads you are choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of never getting angry are you using to lock into existence with and as the positional he pads. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's the value of never getting angry? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of suppressed and repressed anger against your body as reality are you using to force disconnection from your body as positional he pads. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's the value of never allowing yourself to have the joy of destruction? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's the value of never having and embodying the true joy of destruction? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of keeping your success a secret as a reality are you locking into existence as positional he pads? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's the value of creating a life, creating your life in order to avoid rejection? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What creation of keeping your success a secret from everyone, including you, 
are you locking into existence with and as positional heat pads? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's the value of holding you back from you? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And what's the value of never choosing your life? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. All right, that concludes our processes from week two. That was so awesome. I look forward to the next week. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Talk to you soon.